it's just before 9am on Saturday the 16th of June 2012. Uh, I'm Richard Taylor and somewhere in Cambridge this morning there is a launch event for the local plan consultation. Um, this is not a public event, um, the location has uh, not been made known. The council have given some clues, the clue they've given is Wolfson and they've told us that it's not Wolfson College. Um, so I'm here on Clarkson Road in Wolfson Court, um, owned by Girton College and next to the Centre for Mathematical Sciences where there's a Wolfson Room. Um, Wilson Foundation is a large organisation which funds uh, an awful lot of work, so there are uh, many other um, locations around Cambridge um, named Wilson, but I'm going to try and find this meeting this morning. I've spoken to the, the, the registration desk. And they um, won't let you in? Uh, no, because I'm not a, a, a Residents Association representative. I've just spoken to Andrew Roberts of the Trumpington Residents Association, and he says he's very happy that this is a secret private event to which the public are not invited. He won't speak to me on camera. So this morning's meeting, um, are you happy that it's not a public event? Do you, do you think it's right that you have privileged access to the planning offices? Um, it, it's, it's, it's probably okay, I think, because... Um, uh, it's a view shared by some of your, your, your fellow resident association yeah. chairs. Uh, so I think it's wrong, because uh, I, as a member of the public, don't have this kind of access, and there's no, right. public, there's no equivalent um, um, public briefing. So I've just spoken to Janet Brunker of the Richmond Road Resident Association. Um, she said that she would have liked to invite to, um, lots of members of her resident association, invited the public who live in uh, the Richmond Road area to this event. Um, but she's been unable to do so because it's resident associations only. I've just spoken to a Newnham resident who describes herself as someone who does lots of things in the community here in Cambridge. She's written to try and uh, get an invite to today's event but uh, has had no response um, uh, and she agrees with me that this should be an event which is uh, open to the public. I've now spotted the arrival of ex-mayor um, and hanger-on Ian Nemo Smith. Um, I wonder whether how he's got access to this morning's event. So I've just spoken to uh, member of the public Hugh Kellett. Um, he's also not going to be allowed in this morning he doesn't think because he's been told that the event is oversubscribed. Um, he said that he's had a, a look at the um, list of invitees and he's described it as the great and the good of Cambridge. He's gone to um, approach the registration desk and if he does get in, he's promised that he will be live tweeting this morning's meeting. As a member of the Old Chesterton Residents Association, ex-councillor Claire Blair is going to be allowed into this um, secret briefing from um, Cambridge City Council offices launching this uh, local plan consultation. What do you think about the fact this is a... Uh, a meeting which isn't open to the public. Enjoy your day. I have asked the Executive Council of Planning, Councillor Ward, if we can have a public briefing of this sort um, so that people like me can attend it. Uh, that request has not been granted. I think it's wrong that the Liberal Democrats are um, making, launching this consultation with a select invited audience just of residents associations. Residents associations do not represent uh, everybody in Cambridge. Now remember what this is. This is a briefing from Cambridge City Council's Head of Planning on day one of the consultation period on Cambridge's local plan. Now Cambridge's local plan is a document against which um, all the planning applications which will be made in the next eight years or so will be judged. So it's really important that everybody in the city gets a chance to have a say on it and to, to shape what that document looks like. The meeting behind me, I think the only windows into the room are the skylights, so I, I'm unable to peer in, I'm unable to um, get any footage through the windows or have any inkling of, of what's going on inside. I can't leave this venue here this morning without commenting on the dire state of um, cycle parking. And what we've got behind me is a, a railing in which people are pushing the front wheels of their bikes um, and uh, locking them up in a relatively insecure manner. And remember, this is, I think it's a hall of residence for the University of Cambridge uh, run by Girton College. I, I think we should be having... This is exactly what the local plan event's about. We should be stopping this kind of thing. New development should have decent cycle parking. 